Hi, I'm Reyes. Today we are going to be focusing on error code 115. If you experience code 115 coming from your control panel on your roaster, uh, there is two things that could go wrong. Uh, one being you don't have enough gas pressure. Um, you need uh, 10 to 12 inches of water column in order for your roaster to operate at 100%. Uh, check your gas pressure gauge on the rear of the roaster and if it's lower than 10 inches uh, See what you can do about raising that gas pressure Once you got that done you could go ahead and restart again and try it again If you experience that 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 is not the issue uh, You could go ahead and lower the burner from the burner chamber uh, There is four screws that you would remove I will show you on the roaster where the four screws are at and then I will demonstrate on the burner itself if you look closely here, you will see there's two screws here. You remove these two screws, and then the opposite side, there's two more. Once you remove these four screws, it will then lower this whole unit here. Uh, once you got that removed, you could go ahead and look at the burner head uh, to see if there's corrosion on the electrodes or if the electrodes simply just need to be repositioned. Uh, this is what your burner head looks like after you, you remove the burner. Uh, once you remove this, go ahead and inspect the electrodes, make sure there's no buildup on either or, and make sure that they are positioned the way you see them here. If they are not positioned the way you see them here, what you want to do is take a wrench, unscrew the electrode from this part, just loosen it up, and then you'll be able to maneuver them and then reposition them right above the burner rim. Uh, once you have that set, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and screw it back on and tighten it up. If you want to go ahead and move the electrode by forcing it, uh, that's not a way to do it because uh, all that's going to happen is once they get heat, heated up, they're going to adjust back to the normal position as where they were at to begin with. So the proper way of doing it is unscrewing it and resetting it. Uh, then you would go ahead and put it back on the roaster, reset the burner, and ignite it. Uh, after, that, after that, you should not have any issues. Uh, you, would, you will not be getting that code 115, and then you're all set.